Hello, because we will. Do you want to know how I get through life? It's because I follow Jesus Christ. I've repented of my sins. I got I got born again because Jesus says that you must be born again. And he says that he's he will not hear the prayers of the wicked. Uh, so, you know, I had to get right with God to start living right, life right and to start um, uh, to start on a path that was, uh, you know, simple and uh, enjoyable and um, a path where uh, I hate sin because I hate the things that God hates. And uh, I hope you do, too. And if you're struggling in life, Jesus Christ is the only way. John 14, 6, he says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And Luke 13, 3 says, repent or perish. So if you want to have a good life, you got to repent of your sins and start following Jesus Christ. You got to get born again. Um, Titus 2, 11 through 14 says that the grace of God has appeared to all men. So no one is going to have an excuse when they die and meet God on judgment day. And um, amen. Matthew six thirty three says, seek ye the kingdom of God first and all things will be added thereunto. You know what? School is so easy for me and sip. Why? I, I, I don't even... I don't even struggle with it because I see God first and then, uh, yeah, it's everything there. Uh, he just does the work for me, basically. All I do is follow him and uh, it's um, pretty straightforward and simple. Praise God. And, you know, if I end up dying, praise God, I'll go to heaven. And uh, I can't wait to be in heaven. Uh, and we're all going to die someday. So I hope people think about that. And I hope you, listener, think about that as well. Because if you die without Jesus Christ... You'll be in hell for eternity. That would just be awful. Anyways, Romans 8.28 says that all things work out for the good of those that love him. So no, it doesn't matter what happens. If you love God and you're following God, remember it says in the Bible, if you love me, keep my commandments. So if you love God and are following God, um, oh, it's going to work out for your good. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for uh listening uh, and i hope this inspired you this is not my understanding this is just what god says and uh god is not mocked whatever man soweth he will reap so if you're sowing uh sin you're gonna reap bad things and uh school probably isn't gonna work out for you as well if you keep on sinning uh titus 2 11 through 14 says the grace of god has appeared unto, unto all men teaching us that denying ungodliness um uh what does it say? Let's turn to it. Titus 2, 11 through 14. Anyways, there's a lot of people and their sin in college, and uh, it's 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 bad. You know, there's a lot of people that def they definitely need to read Titus 2, 11 through 14. It's great. Great passage. Oh, my three minutes is almost up. But, uh, yep. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a particular a peculiar people zealous for good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority, with all authority, let no man despise you. You know, there's so many college students living the opposite way. They're getting drunk instead of living soberly. You know, so many college students having uh, sex, um, homo sex, uh, sex before marriage, adultery. Oh, it's disgusting. Um, you know, you know, I used to be a sinner too, but when I was 18, I got born again uh, by the Holy Spirit. I repented of my sin and I put my trust in him. Mark 1 15, the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Uh, it's simple guys. Uh, it might not be hard. It might not be easy for everyone because uh, a lot of people want to stay in their sin, but uh, praise God, at least it's simple. Um, just think about it guys, because guess what? You don't know when you're going to die. You could die any minute from now. So uh, God bless you and uh, Godspeed to those that are serving God. And uh, I pray curses upon those that are uh, persecuting the Christians and uh, all those that are uh, heathen unto the Lord. Those are that those that are being disobedient. Titus 1 16 says that they confess to know God, but in their works, they deny him being uh, abominable and a reprobate. So many fake Christians out there. That's all I got to say. Well, anyways, God bless you. And if you want to start doing good in college, start following Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening. God bless you today.